Now today's Through the Decades Retrospectacle. Winners! New York radio station WMCA first introduced a happy face into popular culture as part of a promotional campaign in 1962. Thousands were handed out, spreading smiles along the way. It didn't hurt, of course, that a young Mick Jagger took part in the promotion. But today's iconic image of a smiley face has its origins in a logo unveiled the following year by Massachusetts graphic artist Harvey Ross Ball. Ball was hired by the State Mutual Life Assurance Company of Worcester, Massachusetts to create an image to help boost low employee morale. It took Ball all of 10 minutes to come up with a simple graphic. A bright yellow face, dark oval eyes, full smile, creases at the corners, for which he was paid all of $45. The smiley face really took off in the early 1970s after two brothers, Bernard and Murray Spain from Philadelphia, featured it in a campaign to sell novelty items, many adorned with the phrase, have a happy day. They later changed it to have a nice day and wisely trademarked the combination. At about the same time, French newspaper Francois printed journalist Franklin Lufrani's happiness promotion. Lufrani used a smiley logo to highlight good news stories. Lufrani trademarked the image and started the Smiley Company to license and produce a wide range of smiley merchandise. And a multinational corporation was born.